Thanksgiving Miami Hurricanes. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Serena, hence the intro, hence the channel name. That's Serena. You get a corner, I know. That's just how we are here. Welcome to another episode of Vlogmas, period. <laughs> my girl is here. Go ahead. Hello, it's me. Yes, I am K Nicole is in the building. Yes, period pool. So we are doing Tipsy Talk. You already know how this goes. I asked y'all a topic on Instagram and then y'all give me like responses and then we go into a little bit more in depth about it so the topic this week was living with your significant other prior to marriage that was the discussion i'm here doing my dance like we ain't do our dance e, e, oh yeah e, e. oh wow how long has it been since we did tipsy talk girl, girl I'm, I'm ready with the the shots the drinks and the dance here we go and oh. What friends are for, babe. Literally exhausted. So we're taking shots of Casa. And then we are trying the On the Rocks, the Cosmopolitan. It's vodka. So we're going to split this together. 20%? That's it? Vodka is only 20%? It's like, a, it's like a mixed drink. Like a cocktail. It's a cocktail already. So it's actually rather strong to be just a regular cocktail. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. So it's like a 20 per Oh my god, I just, yeah, this is bad. It's a 20% <laughs> cocktail. Okay. And you know, usually cocktails are not that. So, facts. We're starting off with a little tequila. Oh god, I definitely poured more and more. I just want to say, I'm glad that we ate pizza first. Oh, we. And I'm glad there's more. All right. <laughs> oh, so, God. after we film this video for y'all, we're also going to be filming a podcast. So, go check it out. Go check it out. If you're not streaming the podcast, what are you doing? What are you doing? Period. You let me know. I screenshotted some responses. Oh, I was like, what are we looking for? Oh, yeah. pop the cork on this. Okay. You're the whiff for that. Hmm. I don't know if it smells promising or not. It says... It smells like pink lemonade. A refreshingly tart cosmopolitan crafted with FN, vodka, and triple sec. Blends vodka flavors of... What the fuck? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Blends vodka, flavors of cranberry, triple sec, lemon, and lime. Okay. Period. Oh, God. That's going to be so bad. Drunk already. We have our ice balls in the glasses. Ice balls in the glasses. My mouth is hot as fuck right now. I just know when there's triple sec in it, you're getting lit. Is that right? So this was a post on Baller Alert that I reposted to my story and mm -hmm. asked for y'all opinion. It said, I no longer believe in cohabitating with a boyfriend slash girlfriend until we plan to get married. I'm going to stay in my spot and you stay in yours. This generation has these expectations on a boyfriend or girlfriend when literally our only job is to have fun, get to know each other, not cooking, cleaning, taking care of kids, doing laundry, etc. You want a wife? Then make me one. And that's on Mary Had a Little Lamb. That was the post. Mm. So I reposted and said, what's your opinions on this? Yikes, babes. I mean, everything doesn't have to be so definite, Jeez. you know? Juice. Oh, this could literally get you tore up because it tastes you don't like taste, yeah, it just, Minute Maid pink lemonade. <laughs> it just has like a little aftertaste of like the lime. But then I'm like, sour. is that the aftertaste or is that the tequila just, smell on my tongue? <laughs> I, you're right, you're right. But something is tart about it and I think it's mm. the lemon maybe. It's good though. It is. Well, so I thank you, <laughs> Amazon. I was like, wait, these are cute little holiday glasses. Let me get them. Yeah. I feel like I definitely agree with things not having to be so definite. Like I do not come from oh, you. Know, I was in the wedding. Okay, yeah, yeah. I came before the <laughs> wedding, folks. All right, yeah. so I mean, I don't really have that that expectation to wait 
until being married to have kids or to move in together the yeah. only thing that i said personally was that you know i kind of have my goals like i have a clear idea of what it is that i want to do so i knew that i would have to have my own space early on you meet some people nowadays like men especially they're still living with their parents because they can't yeah exactly so it's like you know i knew that i was gonna have to branch out early on away from my parents in order to do the things that i want to do but it's not like that for everyone mm -hmm. so i can't expect you know us to be on the same timeline but the only thing that i said was i would like for us to have had our our own separate spaces so that we can kind of learn how to manage a space and all the responsibility that comes with it before we actually move in together. Yeah. That's the only thing that I said, that I would like to be definite about my situation. Now, whether we live alone for a year and then next year we decide, hey, let's get a place together, that's cool. We we had that experience to be on our own and yeah. to you know have our own space and have full control over everything. Because now yeah. we're talking about a joint space, we have to do everything together. Or at least that's what I think. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I'm gonna read y'all two, I only got two responses that I screenshotted because I was like, okay, this is a real answer. Mm -hmm. So one, well, oh no, I got three. One girl said, depends on the couple, honestly do what works best for you or y'all, which is pretty much what we were saying. Mm -hmm. And then my other homegirl said, it depends on the kind of man. A lot of men will get comfortable, but I would do it again after my first experience. Mm -hmm. That's a point men do get comfortable for sure and then if you if they've never experienced their own spot and they're yeah. just comfortable in your spot mm -hmm. that can then make you kind of resent them like ew you're a bum yeah <laughs> you like yeah you're just all in my shit i just i think with me i'm so extra mm -hmm. you know so it's like if you come in my house and you see how my house is set up you can tell that i live by myself and not to say that my house is going to look any different when I live with my boyfriend because babes, um, it's still going to be fabulous. You know yes. what I'm saying? No. But it's just like, you know, I would have to then consider somebody else's opinion mm -hmm. at that moment when right now I can do whatever the hell I want to do and I can buy what I want. And if I want to spend $500 on a mirror, I can do that. You know, no questions asked, but now it's like, I just, I feel like if I live with somebody, I want it to be such a joint experience. Like, mm -hmm. I don't want it to feel like one a person or house. the other, right? I don't <laughs> want it to feel like, you know, one person is doing more than the other or whatever. Like, I kind of want it to have that flair of both of us on it. So I'm just not, I'm not ready for that yet. Like, <laughs> I need, I need my, my sparkles to be everywhere, yeah. like covering the whole house right now. Like, that's the phase that I'm in. I'm not in the the you know unisex modern, modern blood, contemporary yeah. whatever like i just haven't i haven't got to that level yet this someone else said i lived with my husband a year before we got married i see nothing wrong with it and we saved money too mm -hmm. if it works it works generally last comment said uh i couldn't fit it all in a box but hmm, i don't know because i used to say no before i was with my current um, girlfriend I wouldn't live with anyone unless we were married mm -hmm. but I don't know I feel like if you honestly love someone you would want to do things for them like cooking or cleaning for them regardless if you live with them or not maybe it's just me I'm just a caring person if I love you I want to I'm gonna make I'm gonna want to slick help you out and make you feel as comfortable as possible anyway also a good point because she was like listing out things that she wouldn't do and I'm like just the same thing with the like not assuming that he lives on his own already mm -hmm. you at some point in your age you kind of have to be open to the fact that people have children like i had a life before i met you type. Mm -hmm. you know what yeah, i'm yeah, like yeah. if i had a kid accidentally on six at 16 but i'm raising my kid and we're meeting at 25 you can't just say oh i'm too young to well you can say whatever you want but <laughs> If you are then saying that you're not going to move forward with somebody you actually give a shit about yeah. because they have a kid, then that's kind of selfish, I think, on your half. <laughs> yeah, on your behalf. Hmm. But that's just my opinion. For me, I kind of teeter-totter with the whole living together before marriage thing because, well, first of all, I was married super young, so 
and we were shacking up that's what his parents was calling it because we weren't married and i think that added a lot of pressure mm -hmm. on us in the first place to like get our own spot get married because it's like a like a stigma that they push on you right when you're not married and you're sleeping in the same bed and you're living yeah. together and all that stuff you know so it's Listen. like okay now that makes you kind of it kind of forces you to want to have your own space so that no one's in your fucking business yeah. Like, <laughs> no. Facts. Facts. Like, so it's kind of, it depends on the situation, like everyone is saying. But I feel like from when people make posts like that, they're speaking out of their own experience and want everybody to feel the same way as them when it's really subjective. Different. Yeah. For it's sure. really subjective based off of the situation. I also think that it has a lot to do with gender roles and, you know, what kind of expectations you have from your significant other. It's just like, all wives don't cook <laughs> at the yeah. end of the day like we know people that don't cook for their husbands and mm -hmm. they're happily married and the husband does all the cooking so it's just like you have to realize that everybody is not going off of the same handbook when yeah. it comes to relationships or when it comes to living together so you know the things that that you might think would be issues are not real issues because and they have a whole system. separate agreement and, and like you know what i'm saying a works. whole system that works for them so i try to think about it that way too because it's like i mean i really don't like to cook i do it but i don't know how to cook a lot of things um i don't consider myself super good at cooking because i know how to make like five things so it's so the like she makes is <laughs> i have successfully mastered five different things <laughs> and those are the things that we keep in rotation but it's like okay when you're thinking about a marriage it's like okay so is my husband gonna expect for me to have dinner ready every night yeah. or like when he comes home from work like what what kind of expectations do we have here and i would really like to not have that one just put solely <laughs> on me i actually like the idea of like couples cooking together like we kind of always have fun when we do stuff like that yeah trying new recipes it's like a bonding thing but also we learn how to like we're learning together it's like both of us don't know what the hell we're doing like come on now i'm not about to be that wife that's like oh yeah i do all the cooking and the cleaning and do the laundry and like no like you clean up your shit after yeah. yourself just You're like i man. exactly so i don't know i i mm. i think that just because i just moved that i can't envision living with my significant mm -hmm. other as of right now because i don't want it to be like i move into your place or you move into mine yeah and that's just me personally because i picked out this place you know and if you don't like this place if you don't like the location if you don't like the neighborhood that's your business and you can say that you know because if it was me i would say the same thing if mm -hmm. i didn't like what you picked so i really just i want it to be i think we're just all about like the journey so it's like we want to go through all the motions together you know or at least i do i want to go through the whole process oh my god we're looking we're we're touring like i want to do all those things yeah and then get something that we both like yeah that's basically my opinion on it mm -hmm. i don't think that it is like an end all be all type of thing mm -hmm. like what may work for me may not work for you and vice versa i mean another big topic relationship another <laughs> big topic is like so who's paying for what is it 50 50 does the he 50 pay the rent da, 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 da. like what is it i'm like the 50 50 thing is driving me crazy if i get on instagram one more time we're talking about this 50 50 thing it's killing me it's killing me i'm telling you you don't like the 50 50 I, thing i'm sick of the conversation like about it are yes. you so like what what are you sick of just hearing about it or Every hearing time people's love, perspective yes, on it. Yes, yeah, it's, okay. not, it's not that I'm not open to your perspective. Uh -huh. It's that everyone is trying to say who's right and who's wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Like, no. Be so for real. <laughs> but, then, but then Michelle Obama says, oh, but there was times where it was 80-20 and I was the 80 because I had to hold him down. Hello? Okay. But then now y'all talking about, so, ooh, that's a real woman. But y'all was just 50-50. Y'all about the 50-50 it's too much i think that if people started to think more logically about the situation and take a step back from the social norms because yeah. everyone thinks that a man is supposed to provide for a woman and that's just what it is and it's like okay cool but a man is not always up these men need women sometimes to help them yeah you know what i'm saying like we i don't know what it is about us but it's like <laughs> 
we're I mean we're nurturers at heart but we it's are just the like the backbone of the man it's the backbone literally so it's like if you just take a step back and do what makes sense logically because why if my man is struggling with something you know what I'm saying why would it be expected of him to pay our rent in our apartment mm -hmm. the whole thing like what why would that ever make sense yeah or especially if you're working right like or even if it's vice versa if the man is making five times what the woman is making why are we splitting the bills 50 50 correct i agree that doesn't make sense logically yes to do that correct it also doesn't make sense if if the woman is making decent money and not paying any bills anything she's just shopping logically yeah. that doesn't make sense if you have that set up and you know he just is balling and wants to take care of you that's fine that's great more power to you exactly but, but in real like, life right like, like come on now let's be 80, let's be 80 percent of women on the <laughs> earth if you are working a full-time job and he is too and y'all are making equal mm -hmm. it's i don't feel like anyone in the house should be struggling i feel like it should be a partnership if y'all exactly. are living together regardless if you're married or not um you're both in mm -hmm. a house you mm -hmm. both should be taking care of the house i mean that's the end of the story end of the story now if one is heightened and one is lower okay yeah it makes sense that right. you are shitting on me compared to what i'm making right. i'm going to work and getting minimum wage at mcdonald's and you're a lawyer then yeah be no. for real be for like, real. exactly <laughs> exactly that's how i feel about it so every time i log in i see it i'm like yo this is so annoying like it's just all based off of just the social aspect of it and not anything logical so that's literally. that's just how i feel because you have situations too where it's just like okay he's the breadwinner i'm also working or whatever mm -hmm. but i still have college debt and you don't mm -hmm. or i still have x ex x debt like credit cards whatever like i have so many more personal bills than you so you're making all this money i'm making all this money but you have less bills personally yes because you have personal bills and then we have bills together so it's just like if if you have less than me personally you have more to give for the joint correct account or the joint bills or whatever so it's just like we don't we don't ever look in between the lines you like we're did. just judging based off of the situation that's presented to us but you just never know what's going on behind closed doors that's why i'm just like i i, I don't get in nobody business when it comes to what they doing yeah how they live in as long as everybody is living i'm good <laughs> as long as you and your significant other are on the same on page. the same page exactly because the worst thing ever is the riff riff based off of who is paying what right within your own house mm -hmm. you know then you get on social media and people are saying what it should be and you're over here resenting your dude because you don't know how to speak up for yourself listen like it's too much <laughs> i genuinely can't i really cannot but it's a whole it's a whole topic out here for real it really is but i do think that i think that i would like to um i think at the end of the day i think that i would like to actually live with my significant other prior to us getting married Absolutely. i think we should have something temporary like not apartment but like rent a house together and live in a house that we're renting and then whenever we decide to get married and do all of that then that's when we can build our forever home together yeah you i know what i mean i don't believe in getting a mortgage with a boyfriend or girlfriend no I, no I no i think that a mortgage fuck no should happen with your husband right <laughs> or in your or your wife right mm. Anyways, yeah, I'm sick of the double standard. I'm sick of the gender roles. I'm sick of all of it, actually. I just want everybody to just go about their fucking business and just be peaceful. Like, worry I about your asshole. A TikTok? You saw, you, I'm pretty sure you saw it. But it was just like, <laughs> what did it say? It was something about the the man was basically a stay-at-home dad. It was like, if, you're, if your girl made X amount of money, would you be a stay-at-home mm -hmm. dad? And mm -hmm. he's like, cooking, yes. cleaning. I'm yeah. like, sometimes it just makes sense like i mean i don't understand i just i just can't understand <laughs> what is wrong with a woman bossing up and being about her shit and being the breadwinner in a yeah. family i mean i get like the the normal gender roles and everything but y'all gotta put y'all pride to the side because if i'm bringing in a bag you need to let me bring in this bag i mean i'm just saying if you gotta do What's the dishes the if you gotta do the what? dishes while i'm over here getting to the money then you might just have to do the dishes why why do the women always gotta wash the dishes yeah <laughs> you know what i'm saying I was, 
it's like almost it's almost offending you know like when you think about it i'm like well damn am i just not good for nothing except cooking and cleaning and, and taking care of kids and having sex with you having kids and taking care of them yeah no no you want these kids more than i do yeah <laughs> let's talk about that you want these kids more than i do yeah you're gonna help me take care of these kids i'm just saying i want to know y'all opinion down below in the comment section i'm about to say description but but down below in the comment section let me know y'all opinions on gender roles 50 50 all of it mm -hmm. living cohabitation before marriage shocking <laughs> all that fornicating i can't <laughs> i you have to have sex before you get married i'm sorry you have to test that what if you don't like it Yo. you're stuck with it forever there is no way Oh, that you can blind marry someone? No. I mean, at least touch I it. mean, at it's, least touch it. Yeah. <laughs> we joke all we joked all the time about me going on married at first sight or whatever, all that stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I was in that space, then yes. But no, if I'm, I know you and we're together for years and you never seen it, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> it's not a thing. No, <laughs> it's just not a thing. Cause that's a deal breaker for me. If Hello. If you're not compatible in the bed, I can't be with you. Sorry. Big dot. Big dot. Everything on that else could be great. Big dot on that one. Literally. Yeah. That's it. That's, that's all. That's a topic for another day. For another day. <laughs> Gotta go now. Yeah. All right, y'all. We're about to film a podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed this tipsy talk y'all know how we do here and until next time remember to subscribe to Corey's channel and my channel and keep up with our vlogmas and i'll see you guys in two days <laughs> bye bye